All right, YouTube. It's time to give these arms hell today. All right, Slice Friday. We're gonna crush these arms. With these, we gotta make sure we're stretching at the bottom, really flexing the tricep, and we're getting that nice stretch when we're pulling up. I normally won't take it too far past parallel. And then we just go after it. YouTube, what is good? All right, check it. We got our arm day today, all right? I'm talking biceps, I'm talking triceps. I'm gonna give you guys a little glimpse of how I train arms, all right? Or how I've been training arms. So, sure, you might get some activation in your biceps and triceps through other exercises that you do, like back, chest, but at the end of the day, when you're performing those exercises, you need to make sure that you are eliminating a lot of arm work, all right? So when you're hitting your back rows, when you're hitting your pull-ups, try not to hit the biceps, all right? That's very, very important. So with that being said, we will isolate the arms and give them their own day, which is today, arm day, all right? It's Flex Friday, a good day to train arms, a good day to really get that blood flowing and get that pump, all right? Chasing the pump. I'm hitting three tricep movements and I'm hitting three bicep movements. Might do more, but for right now, that is the goal and that's what I'm gonna do, all right? So for the tricep, I'm gonna hit the medial head, I'm gonna hit the long head, and I'm gonna hit the lateral head, all right? Kicking off the workout, it was the press down with the easy bar type of straight bar on the cable, all right? And the reason why I like to start with the cable is simply because with the cables, you will keep that tension in the forearms, uh, in the tricep, and maybe even the bicep, depending on what exercise you're doing, all right? So I utilize the cable first. It felt, it felt good, guys. I, I wanna really get the blood flowing, so I do anywhere from like six to seven uh, sets on these um, press downs, all right? And the rep range is anywhere from, let's say 12 to 15, 12 to 20, really, but really trying to hit that 15 number. So the heavier the weight goes, getting to 15 is going to be a struggle, but you just got to push through, all right? It's all about volume, it's all about intensity, all right? You're damn near training to failure. You know, that's my that's my motto, that's pretty much what I train. I train to failure, guys. I really want to make sure that I'm leaving nothing in the tank, no reps behind, all right? My rest, my rest periods will be a little longer just so I can, you know, get my energy back, rest the arm a bit, and really attack it with the same weight and the same reps. Next up, we got the skull crusher, all right? So this right here is gonna focus on that long head, all right? So get these skull crushers in. Some of us hate it, some of us love it, but they, they feel amazing once you really get the technique down and really make sure you critique that form and get it on point. Once you get it on point, the exercise should feel comfortable and it should allow you to really tax out those uh, triceps. Mainly speaking on the long head, all right? You're stretching, you're stretching, stretching, getting a stupid stretch in the tricep when you're pulling the bar over your head and dropping it uh, to your forehead and then pushing it up. So you see I have like a nice little slight angle. It's allowing me to get a more uh, stretch in the shoulder as well, really allowing me to flex at the top for my tricep uh, contraction and stretch at the bottom as well, allowing you know everything to lift and out. A very, very key exercise right here, guys. I really encourage you guys to incorporate this in your training, the skull crusher. All right, YouTube. Finishing off the tricep, you gotta get you some reverse grip press downs or pull downs, whatever you wanna call it. You gotta hit this this reverse grip is gonna allow you to attack the medial head of the tricep, all right? So I already hit the lateral head, already hit the long head, now we're in the medial head, all right? 
three heads of the tricep. Very important that you get you some type of reverse grip press down, all right? You can do a single arm, you can do a straight bar. Uh, however you decide you wanna do it, just get it in, okay? Really stretching at the bottom, really squeezing those triceps at the bottom. Just, uh, I use the cable because it just allows you to keep that tension like I always speak on. Keeping tension throughout the movement is everything. Time under tension, that is how you're gonna build, that is how you're gonna grow, all right? And the name of the game is growing. You wanna build muscle, that's the name of the game, man. No matter what it is, that is the ultimate goal. And you guys already know that, man. Shit, you clicked on this video because it said something about getting bigger arms or something like that. So, uh, yeah, attack the medial head. All right, moving on to these biceps. When I tell you, this technique that I perform with these uh, dumbbell curls is exhausting. It really fills my muscle up with the blood and it really has me all the way to failure, leaving nothing in the tank, all right? So with this, I hit about, let's say, eight to 10 reps of all the way up, full range of motion curls, all right? Using the dumbbells so each, so each arm can get its own work with muscle imbalances, all right? So using the dumbbells. After that 10th set, after that 10th rep, I then inch my way down all the way back to a full range of motion. So I'll go down a little, go back up. Then I go down a little bit more, go back up. And I keep doing that for about, let's say five to six times. And that sixth time will be a full range of motion. All right, so I do that about anywhere from uh, two to three, or you know maybe even four times, all right? So that's gonna really tax out the muscle, all right? Your biceps should be crying right now, begging for mercy, all right? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to exaggerate on this, man. Like, you will feel it if you just perform this type of a technique. Uh, so, next time you hit your dumbbell curls, try this out. Hey, look at this stretch. Look at this. Crazy. Crazy stretch. Crazy stretch in the bicep. Gotta get you some mind muscle connection on these ones. Keep that tension in the forearm, in the bicep, throughout the entire movement. Check out this stretch that I'm getting with these cable curls. I'm leaning forward at a nice little incline, you know, leaning forward, and I'm allowing the cable to be behind me. And so when I'm pulling, when I'm pulling forward and uh, squeezing that bicep, I'm getting nothing but a great contraction. And then when I relax that chin in the forearm, and I'm stupid stretch in the bicep and the tricep as well, guys. This right here is crazy. I recommend you try something in like this where you're stretching your bicep fullest, all right? Stretching to the fullest. I think we get away from, you know, really, really focusing on the muscle, really. And that's gonna be important, man, when it comes down to it, all right? Really stretch the bicep when you wanna hit it. Contract at the top and get that peak. guys so I finished off with some preacher curls using the incline bench um, you can use the bean if you want to you can use a bar I decided to go ahead and use uh, a single dumbbell all right isolating each arm really focused on uh, as I've reached and stretching the bicep Stretch the bicep this incline is really going to help you uh, activate and keep activating the bicep your bicep should already be active issue now but right now we're here now we're, we're taxing it out we're finishing up all right and I do about let's say five full reps 
of your normal preacher curl. And then I twist my wrist going down on the next five, as you notice. And then I just keep pumping out until failure, all right? So give this one a try as well. Video guys, we came in, we, we had the biceps are pumped, triceps are loaded. Hey, look, finishing off good, guys. It's a flex Friday, all right? So, you gotta train arms on a Friday, it's mandatory. With that being said, guys, I'm out. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys got some good instruction on how to train the biceps and the triceps. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Let's grow this channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, man. Bring your friends over. I know they want to get big too. Hey, it's, it's only time to grow, man. It's time to get right, all right? Winter is going to be wrapping up soon. Spring going to be rolling in. And in the summertime, guys, we got to bring some full biceps and we throw that tank on, all right? Now, again, appreciate, appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Catch you guys in the next video.